Okay guys, this half term we're going to be using Scratch to produce our own game and we're going to be thinking about how that works with hardware and software. Your first job today is going to be to actually install Scratch on the computer. So to do that, within Teams, you need to go to Files. And once Files loads, you will see there is a section here called Scratch. We're going to click on Scratch. And then again, click on Scratch. Click on the word here. You'll see nothing's happened, but it's come up with a message saying preview not available. Please download the file. So we're going to download the file. We press download. You should see a little pop-up comes. It says it's downloading Scratch. So we wait for it to finish. When it's finished, it will say downloaded. We're going to press on the downloaded button. And it takes into our downloads folder. Now to install it, all we need to do is double click not slowly, otherwise all that happens is that. We do a very quick double click with our left hand button on our mouse like this, and it will start the Scratch setup process. It would be lovely to install it for everybody, but you can't do that, okay? Only the administrators on the school network can do that, so you can only choose only for me. So I'm gonna choose only for me, and then we're gonna press install. I'm gonna wait a little bit while it starts to install itself. And once it's finished, it says run Scratch 3, which is what we want. So we're going to press finish. Scratch will open. We've got one last thing to do before we can start doing some programming on Scratch. Let's go to message here. It says the, the message says the Scratch team is always looking to better understand how Scratch is used. Well, that's really good. But we don't want to give them any information we don't have to. So we're going to say do not share my usage data. And then we're going to press close. That's where we're going to stop for now, and then we'll look at the rest a little bit later.